is up, Team T Roar, T Roar, T Roar. What is up, guys? I would clap, but my hand still really burnt from when I did the salt and ice challenge for you guys. <laughs> yeah, it left a, a really good, you know, souvenir for me. Well, guess what, guys? What are we doing today? Ah, oh, Fox. Look, I pierced its ear because it's cool like me. Anyway. So what are we doing today, guys? What are we doing? Today, the topic is on celebrities I've met. Really fun stories about some really cool celebrities that I have met. And I have proof, so I'm not lying to you guys, you know. Oh, whatever, Sarah. You did not do that. <laughs> Alright, guys. I will start from my first encounter. My first encounter, okay, back in elementary school, <laughs> uh, I think I was in like the third grade or something like that, and there was a boy in my class named Justin Wade, I'll never forget his, his name, <laughs> his brother was Elizas, Elias, whatever, it was a very strange name, but he was really cool, he was the lead singer of Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, the band, and Justin had a crush on me. He really liked me. So he had his brother come in with his band to try to get my, uh, get my attention, get me whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and this, I have it all the way back from that time. That's the Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, way back when they started. And it says, Sarah, you rock. Thanks. And then signed his name. Which is really cool. I still have it to this day. Which is really neat. I mean, I feel bad because I didn't really like the kid. So, I didn't go out with him. But we were really good friends. And, you know, me and his brother hit it off really cool. <laughs> so that was my first celebrity encounter was... The band Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. Whoa! Number one! <laughs> okay. So, I have a lot of people tell me that I'm very strange and like a celebrity magnet. Because apparently, I'm always in the right spot at the right time. So, I was at a church function. And I was in like this really huge building that had like somewhat of like, you know, like community service. And, you know, like... Just special, you know, like, special events that happen, just like a huge auditorium or whatever. And I get on the elevator, right? And I come off the elevator, and I walk past this guy, and he looked really familiar to me. And I looked over at him, and we just had an eye-to-eye -eye connect. And I'm like, like, I know this dude. I said, I know you. And he's like, yeah, yeah. So he's like, I'm like, dude, you know, can I get your autograph? I got J.R. Roberts' autograph. He used to play guitar in the band Leonard Skinner and a couple other bands. He is an amazing guitarist and singer. He does a lot of his own stuff, too. So J.R. Roberts was somebody really cool. And then again, you know, I got his autograph, so that's cool. Also walking through an auditorium, because apparently I'm just, I like auditoriums, because I'm always in them for some reason. I met the band, sold out, and got every single person that was in the band's autograph. And I got pictures taken with them, which was cool, you know. Um, the next up on my list is somebody who is really cool, really down to earth. I really love this person. Uh, Lindsay Sterling. I don't know if you guys know her. She started off as a YouTuber as well. She made, she, she's a hip hop violinist. She does amazing, beautiful violin music. Beautiful. I mean, like, this chick, like, wow. And she can dance. Like, I've never in my life seen anyone who could do that. Like, play violin so good and hip-hop dance at the same time. I am very proud of this one. 
This is Lindsay Sterling, and I got her autograph. And I framed it, obviously. Like, I, I legitly framed that one. <laughs> and it's pretty cool, because before she got really big, before she got really big, um, we used to talk on emailing. Like, you know, like, legit, like, friend talk. Which is so cool, because I have emails back from when, you know, me and Lindsay Sterling used to talk. So that's pretty cool. Um, I also met Toby Mac and the band Family Force 5. I do not have their autographs, sadly, or pictures, but I am just saying from experience I have met them. And I have also met Sarah Reeves, Britt Nicole, um, Building 429, uh, Nicholas something, I don't know. I met all these, uh, singers who, um... We're at this event in another auditorium. I have all their autographs, and I will show you. I didn't think about it. I should have brought it out, but I didn't. I think it's still here. Yeah. Okay. All right. I got all their autographs. Above the Golden State, Josh Wilson, Sarah Reeves, Dan Yu, Britt Nicole, and of course, they said to Sarah. Because I'm cool, right? Can't go wrong with that. So I have met a lot of people, a lot of famous people, which is strange, you know, like, who would have thought? I met a couple, you know, like, football players and stuff like that, I have their autographs and whatnot, which is cool. I also had a uh, slight eye-to-eye -eye moment with Elton John, that was really neat. <laughs> but my favorite of all time is... When I got VIP tickets to see Doo -doo 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 -boop 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 -boop. the band Up Up Elliptica. They're a Finnish band. So they play cellos and they're mad amazing. They've done a lot of covers with um, with uh, Lacey from Flyleaf. They've done a lot of uh, you know like. Just amazing people, some amazing artists they've done a lot of work with, and plus them just themselves are extremely amazing. So I got to do a meet and greet with them, and I got, I don't know if you guys can see this, oh, I got their autographs too. You know, I got Akas, Pertu, Miko, Pavo, I got all their autographs, so that's cool. And... Oh, I'm pretty much doing a room tour over here. And there's me with the bands when I was like 13. Oh, well, it's cool. You know, I was like a backstage rookie, you know? <laughs> All right. So, to make that even cooler, I ate lunch with that band. How cool is that? So, I got informed, you know, I get to go see them down in Orlando at the House of Blues. Well, at the House of Blues, a couple stores down, there is a restaurant on the river. I don't know what they call it, Riverwalk or something, I don't know. Some really cool restaurant. So, I'm there with my mom, my best friend, and my best friend's mom, because my mom and my best friend's mom were like best friends, and it was a best friend party is what that was. So, we drove all the way down to Orlando. And before the concert, we decided to go get something to eat because we were going to be starving and did not want to pay the extreme prices for food. So, we sat down and started eating. And it was like around 2 o'clock and the concert was that night. So, guess who walks in the door and sits down right next to us? The whole band. I could you not. The whole band of Alpha Apocalyptica sits down right next to us. And we saw them, and we're like, oh my god, dude, it's them, you know? Like, dude, like, we're freaking out. Like, like we weren't going to meet them in a couple hours anyway, but still. Dude, it was cool. So they, they were so friendly. They're extremely nice. They're very down-to-earth people. Very nice. So, you know, we, we were talking, and then we just became one huge table of fans and amazing band members. Like... It was extremely cool. We sat there and we all ate and had like a really laid back time. We all talked and dude, it was like 
having Thanksgiving with your best friends or something crazy. So, it was really cool. And then they got, like, at the end of it, you know, they gave us all hugs. And turns out they didn't know that we knew who they were. Like, we, they thought we weren't there for the concert, basically. And then when they were like, oh, yeah, we got a show tonight and all this. And we're like, yeah, we know. And they're like, oh, dude, that's awesome. So then when we walked in for the meet and greet, they gave me a huge hug. Like, it was like meeting your friends again. It was awesome. They're like, you're back. Yay, we get to see you again. You know, it was really cool. Um, definitely one of my best celebrity encounters I've ever had. Definitely one of the best. I mean, I've had a lot. <laughs> And they were all truly amazing. Each and every person I've had, you know, encounters with. They're all amazing in their, their own ways. They are. They truly are. But, um, I thought that would be a really cool video to share with you guys. Um, I want to know what your all celebrity encounters are. And who you met and what happened. Were you a fangirl? Or did you have, like, an awkward encounter like I did? You got off the elevator and there's, like, Bon Jovi. I don't know. Something crazy. You know, hit me up, you know, give me a like, Th down there looks something like this. <laughs> you know, comment, subscribe to my channel, to my other channels, to Instagram, whatever you can find that I'm involved. Team t -Rar, guys, I hope you guys love it, I love you, I hope you guys are doing great, stay in school, don't do drugs, <laughs> Team t -Rar.